I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we'll try to understand how to estimate area under a curve. We have taken a very simple example to illustrate. The question here is how to use rectangles to estimate area under the parabola y equals to x squared from 0 to 1. So let's sketch few parabolas and then we'll see the strategy. So the see so the idea is let's begin with the first one, this is, this is the parabola y equals to x squared. So I'll, I'll make it slightly wider so that I can explain my points. So let's say parabola is kind of like this. Okay. So this is my curve for y equals to x squared. And uh, let me say that uh, one is kind of here for us. Okay. So, so let us say this is 0 and that is 1. So if I put 1 here, 1 square is also 1. So when we say how to use rectangles to estimate area under the parabola y equals to x squared, then, well, as you can see, this is also kind of a rectangle. And we are interested in area under the curve. That means we are interested in this area, right? So under the curve means this area. So above x-axis and under the curve, we want to estimate that area. To begin with, you can say, well, our rough estimate, which could be uh, that this is definitely less than area of 1, right? So it is, since the area of this big rectangle is 1 by 1, so we can say uh, the total area A is, is less than 1. And area is something, so it is definitely greater than 0. So that becomes the rough estimate. Now what we can do is, uh, we can do a better job than this actually. What we can do is, we can divide this area into a number of small rectangles and then estimate. So let me divide this into four pieces now, let's say. So, so let's say this is half, okay. So let me use a colored pen, okay, fine, this is better. Okay, so let's say or we divide into four equal parts so this is at half and then half of this is one fourth and then here let's say somewhere there three fourths right so what we have done now is we are divided into four rectangles now finding the area of these rectangles i mean they are not rectangles since this side is kind of curved but what we can do here is we can uh, form a rectangle. So better than this big rectangle, we could say this is my rectangle. Right? So what I'm saying here is these are my rectangles. Do you see that? So I'm just taking the value on the right side of the rectangle as the height of the rectangle. So, so if I take a uh, right side as height of rectangle, let's say. Uh, in that case, that will be the value of the function at that, right? So, so if my any point here is, uh, let's say the first rectangle is at 1 over 4, in that case, uh, what is the area of the rectangle? What I'm trying to say now is that we're looking into this area, okay, the big area, this area. So what is the area of this rectangle? Let's look into the first one. So we can say that the area of this rectangle is uh, base times height. So I could say area of this rectangle is base is one fourth, right? From one fourth, base is one fourth times height of the height is value of this function at at one over four. Is that okay? We'll calculate this later, but let me understand the concept. Now, what is the area of the second rectangle? Again, uh, for the second rectangle, if I am taking the right side as the height, uh, it becomes, let me add that, again the base is half minus one fourth, they are, so here we know delta x is equals to one fourth, so this base is one fourth again, and the value of this function at half, right, that becomes the height from the right side, do you get this? Similarly, for third and fourth rectangle, we could write the area as f of 3 fourths plus 
one fourth times f of uh, in this case one right now if i substitute these values here for x i get these values right so i could write this as one over four and the value of this function at one over four will be one over four square since y is equals to x square so it is one over four square plus in this case it is one over four times half square right half square plus one over four times so whatever this x value is square of that that gives me height at that point right so it becomes one over four times one square so one over four is common so we could say one over four is common and we have sum of all these squares let me write down so we have one over 16 plus one over four plus 9 over 16 plus 1. So that becomes the approximate area uh, under this curve. And as you can see, it is actually higher than what we should have got uh, since we have taken the right side. Do you see that? So if I take the right side, you know that much is higher in each case. And that will normally happen for a curve which is concave up, right? You can always use your calculator. To find this value so what we will do is okay so we'll do all this so it is uh, 1 divided by 4 within brackets we have uh, 1 divided by 16 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 9 divided by 16 plus 1 bracket close equals 2 so it gives us 2 over 15 which is 0. Point one three. So let me write down what I've got. So I get 0 0.133 recurrence, right? That's okay. So something like this we will get. We could approximate. I mean, I could take 16 and 4 and all do all that calculation also to find this value, right? So it is approximately from the right side. We get a value which is this now. It doesn't seem to be correct so what we will do is we'll again calculate I mean I must have done something wrong with my calculations okay so uh, obviously this is not the right answer so so what I will do is I'll use the normal methods okay which is uh, what we'll do is we can take 16 as our common denominator right and then add the numerator that's better to do right so okay so it could be one fourth so if i take 16 as my common denominator this is one plus four plus nine plus 16 correct so let me do it now so what we get here is we'll do from inside out so we have one plus four plus nine plus 16 equals to divided by 16 equals to divided by four right so we get a value which is equals to 15 over 32 and that is equal to in decimals uh, that's better right 0 0.468 whatever okay so this is better so we get a approximate estimate of 0 0.4687 do you see that so this value of area we have got by using the right side now we could have also found the area using the left side of these rectangles right so so let's do that also so now we will use the left side so that is the higher estimate so we'll say this is the higher estimate okay now let's find the lower estimate so the lower estimate we are going to get from the from the left side so left side means what okay let me make rectangles again over the different ink uh, we'll just slightly mess this up or okay let me do it another diagram let me i have some space here to sketch so let's sketch it here we'll do lower side on this side so if i am doing lower side then the parable is kind of like this and again quickly let me divide them into four equal parts this is this, this is the first part second part third part and the fourth part okay and lower side of rectangle for us will mean that uh, well zero because my height in this case and then this is the height so that 
is the lower side. Do you see this? So this time what we are finding area is we are finding area of the, this is zero and then this we are finding area of these rectangles. So again we are considering the four rectangles and of course this is a lower side estimate. But average of these two will give us fairly good idea of what the area should be right approaching at least. So here in this case the widths are again since this is 1 over 4 this is half this is 3 over 4 this is 1 let me push it a bit up right so okay now and we are doing the lower estimate so the area of the first rectangle is width is 1 fourth times the value of the function but this time the value of the function is on 0 do you see that so uh, 1 fourth times uh, uh, f of 0 correct plus the area of the second rectangle is one fourth, which is the width, and the height is not on the right, right side. We are taking the left side, right? So we are taking left side. Let me write left side values. Is it okay? Left side values. So the left side is actually the value of the function at one over four, right? So again, the third one will be left side values half, f of half plus 1 over 4 f of 3 over 4 is it okay so for this we are taking this value so the height of the rectangle has been taken from the left corner of the rectangle and we know all the bases are of same width right okay so that becomes the area which we could write 1 over 4 as common as we did there the value of this function at 0 is 0 plus at 1 over 4 is 1 over 16 so we're just doing square of this half is 1 over 4 and square of 3 over 4 is 9 over 16 so the same calculation which we did above right so that gives us 1 fourth I'm not relying on the calculator this time 16 is my denominator I get 0 plus 1 plus 4 common denominator plus 9 is it okay so now we can calculate this value it is inside 1 plus 4 plus 9 so 1 plus 4 plus 9 equals to divide by 16 equals to divide by 4 equals to 7 over 32 okay which is in decimal 0 point 0 point let me write down here 0 0.2187 okay so what we get really here is that the area is somewhere between these two limits somewhere between 0 0.2187 and 0 0.4687 do you see that somewhere because this is on the lower side and that is on the higher side somewhere in between we have the area now the idea is I just made four rectangles to get these values but if I make eight right I'll get closer this is the concept I will get closer to the area since uh, since we'll fill it up more closer to the curve and if I increase this value of n to infinite number of rectangles then probably I'll get fairly accurate result right now the idea is when we learned about uh, slopes of the tangents we started with the secant line and when we say that the two points P and Q are very very close the secant slope approaches the tangent slope and gives you the slope on the curve at any point so same concept we'll be using here to find or to estimate area under a curve so if I increase these number of rectangles I really approach a fairly close value to the real answer right so somewhere in between it seems that we have the real answer right so maybe 0.3 is 0.2 and 0.4 if you just add and divide by 2 so it seems that the average value of let's say 0 0.33 uh, could be fairly accurate result which we'll see in one of our videos where we'll take n number of rectangles right I'm Adil Kumar and I hope this simple explanation of finding area under the curve helps you and we'll uh, do many examples based on this important very important concept you can always share and subscribe my videos feel free to share questions and if you like you can put some likes thank you and all the best